residential installation. And I'm gonna take this video. It's this is called a starter, presidential starter. And that's called a presidential shingles. This one goes on the edge. But I'm gonna use a presidential starter right here around the the edge of the uh, pipe flashings. Take the presidential starter, align it. And this is gonna be to cover your gap. Like this, nail it. Now just put one on the other side. Like this. So this is to make your flashing look like this. And then you're gonna continue on with your uh, with your uh, full shingle. And then when you install your shingle, you have the presidential starter underneath and you put it on top. Go like this, nail it. Okay, you see it's covering, this piece of uh, starter is covering the reveal of the metal so it doesn't look that ugly. Okay, you see it? Same on the other side. You're gonna get the little piece to the, the 15 and then just nail it right here okay make sure you're not away from it so that way you're always gonna have the a cover for your flashing right here okay see it okay. that's how you do a uh, flashing on presidential starter I mean presidential shingles put a piece of a starter on each side and then just go on with your shingle on top of it okay so that way it looks nice a lot of fucking people they do their presidential they have this uh, piece of metal exposed right here it looks ugly ugly cosmetically ugly and it doesn't look professional all right uh, famous uh, presidential shakes you have to start with the full and then uh, overlap about five inches and then 15 and then five 15.5 and this is the pattern that you're supposed to get out of the presidential and when it's installed it looks like that you have to cover the the butts you know where the the shingle meets with this one it has like a little puzzle thing you see that has like a little cut right here so if it doesn't have this cut you cannot install it the end cut from this that side you can use it on this side and the end cut from this side you can use it on the on the end so you have to save your cuts right so you're not and then around around your you see this is a uh, tubular skylight i'm gonna put a piece of a, a starter presidential starter so it can so it looks straight okay and i'm gonna put another one here and you do it around your pipes, your any any flashing you have. Uh, you, you can do it's not a requirement but it looks cosmetically way better. Okay then just have a empty like this. Like this. This is how you install presidential. This is the book pattern, 5 inches, 15, 5 inches, 15, make sure that you don't have any nails on the, on the joint right here, so watch out for your nails, and then right here on the flashings, put a piece of a starter, presidential starter, to cover the, the metal, and this got to look nice, that's what I did my, Bento. YouTubers, I'm done with this job. It's called Presidential uh, Shakes. 50 year uh, we finish it like this uh, those
also existing uh, solar tube uh, skylight and we added a rich band on top of it we didn't put no intake bands because it has some uh, gable vents on the sides so whenever it has gable vents you don't need none of the stuff and it looks like this this is how we finish the fireplace And this one right here was a killer. I had to use the uh, the ladder from the bottom, and then just uh, work on it. I'm gonna show you the other side. This is the lower side. Uh, finish it like that with the old uh, um, roof to wall. The roof to wall is buried inside the wall, so I didn't have to replace it. But I make sure I tuck it underneath. And this is the garage. Color shown is country gray. Okay, from uh, Serenteed. Best shingles in the world, Serenteed. This is the Correct. Make sure you you follow the pattern, okay? 515, 515, okay? Don't ever lose that because you're gonna have problems. This is the top side. Looks like that. All right? So you're not a guys. Subscribe, please. I want to get famous someday. I want to be world famous. Eric Garcia. I want to make Eric Garcia a name brand. impress another roofer but you're always gonna impress the neighborhood. So whenever you do a job think about somebody else is gonna, is gonna look at your job finished and then gonna go ask knock on the, on the uh, customers ask him hey, who did your roof can I get his number can I have his number I like the job your house looks beautiful stuff like that so that's Another roofer is always going to find mistakes on your, on your uh, roof. He's always going to say, oh, this is wrong. I could do it better. It's a natural thing. I don't get offended by that. You know, but most of them, they're just keyboard warriors. You know, they, they don't know anything. It's not the same being uh, on the computer, typing, being up on the roof, you know, doing it yourself. You know, uh, anyway, you know, I get it all the time. So even though from my old co-workers, you know, we used to, oh, I can do it better, I can do this, I can do that, you know. It's a natural thing, so if you go to a doctor and then you get a second opinion from another doctor, you're going to tell you, oh, I can do better than that doctor. So it's always a a natural thing for the human being trying to be better than somebody else. So it happens on every single uh, job, every single uh, trade. So don't get offended when somebody tells you he's better than you. You just let him be. You just tell him, hopefully you are. You know? To me, hopefully, everybody's the best. So I don't get offended. But what I can tell you is I get a call, a single call every day for a job. So I'm busy 365 days a year, round. And I'm, I'm not knocking on doors anymore. So for the new rookies that are starting a new career, general contractors they depend on somebody else selling their jobs so they can work I don't depend on nobody so stay away from general contractors stay away from contractors stay away from those guys because they're just gonna feed you they're gonna get the, the money you're not gonna make anything it's gonna make pennies okay so stay away from those guys